This is more of a controversial topic. Narcissists and love. And I, I'm not sure that the two words belong in the same sentence. But we're going to be talking about do narcissists love themselves? Because they are so confident. They have so much attention on them. So you would think that this person absolutely loves themselves. This shows a different story. I'm gonna explain it in this video. Hello my friends and welcome back. So today we're talking about narcissists and do narcissists love themselves? Like, do they actually love themselves they can't love you they can't love their supply can't love their family but do they actually love themselves you would think that possibly this could be a thing right like do they actually love a lot of us have wondered this i know i have i know i've thought about like do not actually love them because like look they're so confident like people love them they're getting so much validation you know, they've got it all going on. They've got supply here, supply there. Like, do you know what I mean? You'd think that they, you know, love themselves. And I think it's very important, you know, like that we do practice self-care, self-love. And I'm sure the narcissist does all of this. But deep down in the core, do they actually love themselves? Okay, so before I get into the video, just want to mention that I do go live on this channel once a week. And if you're interested in joining, you've got questions, come on over join the live we've got a community of amazing people and do you know what these these lives are such a vibe live vibe anyway there's such a vibe you know so i would say come on over join look what have you got to lose absolutely free hop on over see what you think you can ask your question might get it answered and if you want more information please see the description box below or do check the community tab because i do post or I do put like a lot of information on there. Like I would say, check the community tab. So do they love themselves? Do, do narcissists love themselves? You've got to understand that the way that a narcissist loves, oh gosh, do you know what? You probably all know this anyway. The way that a narcissist loves is not the same way that me or you would love another person. How the narcissist treats themselves is very different to how me or you would treat ourselves. Now, in order to understand this, we kind of have to go back in time a little bit because a lot of the answers that we are looking for stem from the narcissist's childhood. But when we look at a narcissist, most of them, you would think, wow, this person really loves themselves. And in the DSM, if we look at it as well, like the diagnosis or the concepts of like what make up a narcissistic personality disorder, they talk about how the narcissist, you know, has this grandiosity, how they, they think so much about themselves. And if you look at other descriptions of what narcissism is, they, they say that, oh, it's all about narcissist that looks as itself the reflection of the mirror and or the water the mirror or the water i can't remember which one it is but they fall in love with their own reflection how is that a real true construction or meaning or a description of what narcissism is like i don't know have any of you found this you, you know you look in the dsm or you're trying to understand what npd is and you look at all of these explanations and neither one of them fits. So this is why a lot of us miss it. This is why a lot of people don't understand what is narcissism. But in the description, it talks about how the narcissist has this super confidence, how they have this awe about them, this charming, this alluring way about them. And the thing is, you think, oh wow, this makes the person really confident. Like, you know, they, they're they so wonderful. And indeed, and indeed, you know, like we were drawn to the narcissist because they are this kind of people that you can't stop 
wondering about or thinking about or looking at think about it you know like when they've got their flying monkeys or they've got other people around them these people are stuck onto the narcissist like they watch them they are around them that you know there's big indication here so you would think that this person because they're super popular that they love themselves and having self-love is very much talked about out there in our pop culture at the moment it's all about validation self-worth self-love self-care it's important but what happens when it goes to toxic levels or pathological levels does the narcissist love themselves my friends if you really look at it all right they have this negative self-talk that is going on in their mind all the, all the time all of their waking states they have this negative narrative going on inside of their mind this is because of their dysfunctional ego our ego isn't meant to be dysfunctional it is kind of like we got to make friends with it i'm not saying it's good and i'm not saying it's bad but the ego is a culmination of our childhood experiences or life experiences and also to do with our upbringing our condition conditioning and also our self-beliefs all right that form our concepts and our self-image now if you think about it the narcissist would have had quite a dysfunctional bringing up to put it lightly so the ego has become programmed in a negative way based on conditions and remember they would have grown up with conditional love from their parents you have to do something and then i will love you you do something for me and then i love you sound familiar like literally that's how your relationship was okay so the ego is out of control so this is why this negative narrative is in their head 24 7 going on and on and on because it is telling them that they are worthless that they are not good enough that they can't possibly be the way that they are look at them people hate them look at that person looking at you but you see the narcissist is able to detach from that and deflect completely and in a bid to try and suppress the ego they 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 cope with it by having toxic confidence or toxic positivity it's not real it isn't deep rooted within them it is fake because it's trying to mask something else and if you were to question it you will see how fragile it actually is you can tell you know you got intuition you got a gut instinct about this person you can tell that this person doesn't really think this about themselves because what happens is it's over the top it's almost as though you kind of cringe thinking like oh my god how is this person saying all of this stuff like how how are these people so in awe of this person so you will get to realize that actually you know what this this sounds a bit cringy what is going on and I'm sure that you've probably thought this or noticed this about certain people when it's done like over the top over embellished it's not natural because it doesn't come from the heart it's not authentically them which is why they don't have an identity which is why they take yours on so when someone does things like that when someone is mirroring you when someone is love bombing you you know and you and, and you notice that their behaviors are in a cycle that doesn't mean that it comes authentically from them it is a suppression of emotions it's a suppression because actually you know the ego is out of control it's not contained you know i think with us with our egos yes you know we also have negative self-talk but when it's to a pathological level i'm talking this is on a diff this is on a whole new level my friends okay so we are able to contain it we're like okay we are not our thoughts i can move through this i'm not this but the narcissist can't self-soothe they don't know how to do this they don't talk to themselves the way that me or you do which is why when you've got other people around you and you're looking for validation new supply they distract you they see people as an entertainment they entertain them because then the narcissist doesn't have to think about themselves 
So none of this of what we have talked about now is pointing to the fact, does the narcissist love me? Does the narcissist love themselves? Even though they are so self-consumed. And this is what happens when someone is so focused on themselves, they don't think about any others around them. They are self-consumed because their brain or their attention span hasn't got the capacity to be able to think about how anyone else is feeling or what's going on. It's why they don't have empathy because they are self-absorbed. Because when you have this negative self-talk, this negative chatter going on and on and on in your ear, you can't, you're, how can you look, how can you think or have your attention on anything else when this is, this negative self-chatter is so prominent? You can't. So this is why they have this fragile ego, this fragile sense of self. Well, actually, they don't even have a sense of self. It's not built on solid foundation. They're looking for others to be able to fulfill them all the time. This doesn't change. It's got them here up until now. They're not going to change that. Why should they? Because this works. The way that they are, this works for them. So they're not going to change it. So does a narcissist love themselves? No, they don't. But they show you that they do. They show you that they have the most amount of respect for themselves. And maybe certain friends or family members will also show that they have this respect, this almighty love for the narcissist. And so you see, that is how they play people one and off against each other. This is how they get other people under their spell. So guys, I really hope this video has helped you to understand this in a different way. Maybe it could help you to kind of move forward. And that is my real hope, you know, in these videos that it helps you to move forward. And if you are facing something like this or want more information, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. Please see the description box below for more details. I've also got some mentorship and a journal club, which I post every Monday. And if you're interested in joining, please see the description box below. I've also got a Discord server, which is absolutely free for you to join. It is a community of like-minded individuals. And if you're interested in chatting some people who have been through similar experiences that you have, I would say check the description box for the link. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.